Hi everyone, this is Lori, Salesforce Lori, um, demonstrating to you an internal project that we created. And I will just focus on how we used Experience Cloud to capture information to create a contact and a case. And this is using a flow. This is a screen flow. But let me just give you a background. Um, so in our in, in my company, during the Salesforce Academy, we were tasked by our manager. Our team was tasked with coming up with any app that will demonstrate what functionalities and capabilities the Salesforce has. And our target audience is the VA. So if you can see here, I have made a logo here that was actually lifted off the VA.gov healthcare website. And I used the theme um, that is a help center theme. And this is so that um, supposedly it will default to um, like you don't ask for the user to register. So we have made it so because we wanted to uh, create this quickly to just demonstrate. You know, it's it's not really a hard uh, trying to, trying to, to solution what the requirements of our clients are because there really was no requirement except okay come up with something to demo so um to make it quick we uh just thought of something easy enough to configure so we have a screen flow and just to demonstrate to you i am going to put a name there information so this will be the screen flow for the contact creation and then it proceeds to the second screen which is the actual case um, thing so um, the case category here will determine to what queue because that was a, a in subsequent meetings our manager said it will be nice if the case would fall not just to the general um, org list, but to a queue depending, you know, uh, it, it will go to a group of people who would be, let's say, skilled in the topic that's being asked. So something like that. Um, Now we will submit this, and supposedly we have submitted a case. So the the thank you page will be saying, an agent will get in touch with you after reviewing your case. So it's kind of confirming that, okay, you're done submitting. So we can finish that, and it will go back to the original um, screen. And just so you know, um, so that, that triggers the flow, and I should be showing to you what case was created because of that. Um, ideally, I would be doing this on an incognito page so that you know that I'm not logged in as a user, right? But um, I was trying to do that with the Vimeo recorder. But as soon as I wanted to change the, the window uh, from the incognito window to this window where I am logged in, it stopped recording. So, um, but you can go ahead and try to use that um, use that form. I will post the link in in the description of this video. But um, I will just proceed from here. And and just so you know, um, these are icons that I grabbed from the actual official BAE.gov um, website, and the links are real. Like if I click that and open in a new tab, that should bring us to the Veterans Help Facebook page, something like that. The same thing with this. I just copied them all. And this cover photo is also something I grabbed from their website. Um, their icons now have changed, but um, 
I'm keeping this for, for these demo purposes. And the help center theme uh, would allow, if I can configure this later as I am learning more about Service Cloud, um, there should be a way um, to assign um, users as authors of articles so that eventually your database of help articles will grow. But for now, if you type something here, medication and refill, something like that, or prescription refill, the uh, initial for now, there, because there's nothing in the database, this is the result. There's no result. But I digress. So now let's go to the actual um, case. So this is our service console. And as you know, uh, the console is different from the BHA service app. The console itself is the one that makes it cleaner and more efficient for an agent to process the cases, right? And you can actually change that to a Kanban view or a list view, you know. Um, so in any case, I will go back to the list and so I have defaulted it to all cases. And if you will go to, so that was a home help if I remember correctly. I think that was the one that I, yeah. So this is where we're, uh, this one. This was the one that I just created, right? So as you can see, the case was created, the new contact was created. And if you go to that case, this contact phone and contact email are now there aside from the contact name. So that was a contact information that was created, but we also in included these fields pulled from the contact object. As you can see, we are on the case object right now. And this details page defaulted that the origin came from the web. And this was the subject that I entered. This was the description that I entered, right? So, and now we are going to the flow that I used in so that was the contact case creation, and this is the flow. Let me just go to the experience builder. So this is the builder. Um, if you go to the setup and then type in all sites, that is where your website should be if you enable the digital experience. And this is where my flow is. When you are putting a flow, you have to drag that component from here and drag it somewhere there, okay? So I already dragged it there, but just to show you, um, if I'm going to place a flow here, I have to choose what that flow is. And, and one thing that you have to know, the flows that you can pull towards this component needs to be active if it's not active of course it won't do anything right so so yeah so now that was the va contact case creation and this is that flow and just to show you for so we started the screen flow and um so this is uh, a new record is created we will first um so this is the first screen, which will capture the information that we needed to create the contact. So these are just things that you drag from here, right? Name, email. If, if, if you click, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Delete. So if you go to the email, first, let's go to the, the first name. It's basically uh, these things, okay? And when you go to the email, um, you have to make it, if you want to make it required, which this is the field that we were using to, um, to, to make a decision whether to update the contact or create a new one, okay? So we made it required. 
and to make it required this this has to be true okay and then the phone so on the next part you will have to get the records so we can find a match right so we will have to find the records of the contact and we will check for the email if it is the same so this was made from a, um, a resource right and so that was grabbed from the email that was entered in a prior screen and so we are going to store that value for the to only the first record it will automatically store all fields and now we have made uh, we are making a decision here to update the existing contact. If the find match um, from the contact is null, uh, is is not null. So this is an operator is null is false. So basically, there is a contact when you're trying to find the match. Okay, using that email. And if there is an, uh, a match, then you update the existing contact, right? So update the existing contact if there is a match. And then the default will be create a new contact, right? So updating the records is just a matter of user IDs and all fields to value from what you gathered from this screen and then create the records um, the same thing all values from that the temporary stored values will be used to create the record and then you proceed to the next screen which is gathering this um, information the case category of course before um, so when, when you're creating this you just uh, you have to have the fields first in your actual object, case object, and the page layout. Um, so once you have it there and you pulled a pick list from here, and then you want to use, um, you know, you want to use a pick list, it will, uh, you will have to look for that pick list. Okay, so you'll have to create the resource for that. And the subject. This is nothing. You don't have to validate that. Um, all right. So basically here we just um, require the case category because, like I said, we were using it to... Um, determine which queue the case would go to, right? So yeah, so that's how we created new cases. And so what we now would like to bring you to the cases um, list. And as you know, we have created those. And so this is the actual queue, right? If you go to all cases and uh, you will see that the latest cases are these ones. Okay. Uh, where did my lady go? Why am I not seeing that? Okay. So yeah, automatically went to a queue. I will cut this video now and I will create some more videos. So these are really uh, small nuggets of videos and it will be in a playlist, okay?